<laughs> and Yoshi. Cool. And the Yoshi. Oh. That's right. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. On Hollow Bastion, here we go. We've already got the... What's that called? Uh, something... F no, what is, I've forgotten what it's called. The purple terrifying blobs. Um, we've already got that. Is it Shadow... Shadow Flare? I know there's Giga Flare, which is the neutral V, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't play Final Fantasy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just call it whatever he says when he when he throws it out. He says, "Feel you. He's over it Yeah. you just said it. <laughs> okay, we've got um. Oh, what the heck? You just kind of. Oh, that was an interesting exchange right there. You just like get down beat straight. Do you know? I think um Yoshi can choose whether he actually goes through a platform when he um does that down B. So it's a really weird mix-up wise. Oh, really? You can like, uh, I think if you hold down, you go through a platform and if you don't, you um, don't maybe. PG yes, I can play. Spot. I can play the game. Okay, right I've got to, I've got to go play. Bye, John. This Alrighty, been it's been good. I have Joel on the comms. We're going to have to uh, settle for me for, uh, I don't know, a couple of seconds until somebody else comes. So I'll try and make this interesting. I mean, it's already interesting as it is. Sephiroth versus Yoshi? Control from PG. That's what we always like to see. Nice little ledge mix-ups coming out. The discipline from Kalpo to hold shield during that down B. Rewarding, taking the stock. Shield break! And the stock taken. Yoshi is deceptively strong. I mean, even, even without... Yoshi being strong, that would have taken a stop. But did you see how how quickly Sephiroth went off the ledge? But well, we got some counters coming. With the Octa Slash, a good call out, but just slipped out. PG going for a down air, uh, down air again, nearly taking the stop. I mean, nearly uh, getting a shield break on that. See another down air. Ooh, went for the dunk. Nearly, nearly hit, nearly hit. It's always lovely to see when players go for these uh, risque strategies. Nice counter right here. And there, two jabs. Woo hoo hoo hoo. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Nearly called out that, that tech chase. Oh, we got one again. What's the play? What's the play at the ledge? Oh, nice, nice little forward there to just, just poke him away. Nice little get off me move. Caught out. He's got the wing. He's got the extra jumps. Nice little air dodge back onto back onto the center ring. Nicely done by PG. Nice up smash. That's how it's done. That's what we like to see. PG already doing better than he did all those years ago against Cal Pole. Nice call-outs, just solid gameplay. That's what we like to see. We like to see when players make adaptations, you know, come back on their mistakes that they made in the past and, and, and show results. That's what we like. Now the players are getting situated again, choosing their stage. And we are going for PS2. Both players look focused. That's why I like to see focus. Here's the countdown. Let me start. Nice snare right at the beginning. Nice, nice tilt attacks. Just nice little, nice little damage. Seems like Kalpo's strategy this match is just, just command center ring with his range, with his plethora of projectiles. And, he, and it seems to be working out right now. Had he had landed that Octa Slash, his neutral B would have actually uh, killed Yoshi right there. So that was a really good choice. Just unfortunate that it slipped out. He doesn't even need it. That counter sending Yoshi to the Shadow Realm.
All right, now. What adaptations will PG make to this new play style that Kalpo has established? Nice Nez, up air, commanding the center with great control. Another counter. And the forward smash, so so calculated, so many call outs, so many backup plans in that one exchange. He's prepared. He's made the adaptations. Yeah, nice nares right at the beginning. And then the, those forward airs, nice control in the center. And then off stage, he's just a menace. Nice call out by PG though. All right, all right. What we got now? Kalpo immediately taking the center again. Nice call out by, by PG. The rust downs, the call outs, the grabs. Cal says, no, the center is mine. You can't take it, it's mine. I'm in control of this match. Counter caught out again, but didn't get that forward smash. Just, just hate to see it when, when the player calls out so well. Just like that auto slash that Cal Paul did earlier in the match and it just slipped out. You just hate to see it, but they're bouncing back. Well, up smash just missed. Another up smash just missed. Uh, was that an up smash? I think it was an up smash. Down there, just commanding center again. The stage is mine. PG says no, the stage is mine. Kalpo just slips out, takes the center again. Nice little call out, that little, that little... What do you call those things? You call them those fox trots, those little fox trots. Just stepping back, throwing that total tag. That's what you like to see, just nice spacing. Off the slash. You know, a little, little ledge shenanigans. Step ups like to do nice call out. Up smash. Now, up smash, up smash for up smash. That's what you like to see, easy. All right, we're going into the final match. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, Kalpo just making great adaptations after that first match. He said, all right, you know, I'm giving you a little bit too much respect. The center is mine. You cannot take it. I'm in control of this match. No character changes. All right, let's get into it. Anyone else noticed how PG has changed the color of his character uh, every match? All right, yeah, just nice call outs. Both of them just like trying to call each other out. Nice. I feel like uh, PG could have gotten in a little bit closer there, you know, like just close the gap between the two of them in that exchange. But look, look at him. He's in control. He's in control right now. He he commands the center. He's saying, no, this is my stage. Look how says, hey, I'm back. I'm back. And this down smash is going to send you away. Now I'm in control. Now you have to catch up to me. Nice little confirm, that, that back air, just tickling the back, tickling the back, and then uh, just sending him away. That's what you like to see, just dingling, bow. Yeah, Nez at the beginning, and then, woo, he went for a hard call out that he, he definitely thought he was gonna hold shield, and that would definitely have taken the stop. Ah, uh, he, yeah, I would have thought that he would go for shield as well and nice call out just solid solid Sephiroth gameplay you know this this is this is the like type of Sephiroth I love seeing you know doesn't do too much like his ledge shenanigans aren't too crazy he, he's solid he's solid he commands the center he plays the character properly uses his range 
good solid mix-ups and you know just calls out moves when when it makes sense look at him he's in control but pg slips over gets stays control but the oxide sends him away now he has control preemptive counter not responded nice forward there just poking him away pg's in control again He's looking for a hard call out here. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. Just. I mean, yeah, just. A little bit of footsies at the ledge. Nice tilt. That's definitely going to take the stock. And that's, that's game. I mean, yeah, that was just that was just good adaptations from from Cal Paul. You know, PG, great effort. You know, came in with a game plan, but adaptations. You know, whoever adapts last wins. That's how it's always been. Cal Paul made the adaptations. PG didn't have much of an answer, and that was it.